Hello, I uh, just went to the movie today. Uh, going to the movie theater for me is very rare. As a matter of fact, this is uh, like a 2023. The only movies I went to see at the theater is turned out to be uh, this particular movie. It's called uh, Boys in the Boat. Boys in the Boat. This is a, a, like a non-fiction uh, book that uh, came out maybe 10 or 15, 10 years ago maybe. It's not that old book, but it's a very, very well written book and uh, I really, really enjoyed it. And it has uh, lots of, lots of uh, pictures uh, of that particular um, uh, boat crew, uh, crew uh, like eight crew members there and uh, coxman and uh, uh, so uh, I really enjoyed this book and so when I heard that uh, George Clooney uh, decided to make a movie I got, got very very excited and uh, uh, so they um, released the film this December 2023 so I have to see this movie because I really love the book and the uh, original book is by Daniel James Brown, uh, very well written book by the way, and uh, so I kind of uh, felt that uh, yeah I have to see this movie. I think regardless uh, of the you know the George Clooney's skill for the movie making, I think that could be a very enjoyable movie because of the story of this particular book. So I went to see, and it was kind of a fantastic movie uh, because uh, it's, uh, uh, you know, it shows the, uh, this victory of the University of Washington uh, boat crews uh, all the way from the unknown status. You know, most of the U.S., for example, uh, most of the, uh, those boat uh, famous, very, very strong teams are from East, you know and uh, uh, the California, uh, but this University of Washington, because of this particular coach, which uh, uh, was very good in this particular movie, I really loved him in this movie. I don't know the name of the particular actor, but uh, he was very good. But anyway, he kind of uh, uh, picked this very, very fine uh, crew member, eight members, out of or oh, maybe 200 uh, applicants and they kind of uh, put it in uh, uh, this program to see which one has to be picked and so they, he picked uh, eight members and uh, so uh, those kids, those uh, University of Washington students are not necessarily wealthy kids uh, some of them actually very very poor kids uh, don't have uh, any you know shoes to wear or any clothes to wear uh, that's about 1936 and uh, um, uh, probably you know after depressions or something not so uh, many kids are, are you know well to do there but anyway uh, in uh, reading this book I felt yeah that was well written because some of the characters in that uh, uh, you know, especially the one, uh, John Ratz, uh, that guy is like uh, featured in this book and in this movie as well. And uh, so in this book, uh, he was featured as a very struggling, but very good-hearted, uh, very uh, determined, uh, strong uh, person uh, there. And the movie depicts somewhat that, but I think the movie depictions of him is more or less uh, I don't know, it's uh, a little bit like a not commit, committed enough or, uh, you know, having a girlfriend and, uh, uh, you know, trying to, trying to having uh, maybe fun or something, you know, something like that. And it's a little bit different, but I think it's very uh, faithful uh, adaptation of the book. And uh, I think uh, more than that, I think uh, just because this particular uh, boat uh, cruising under this 
you know, waterways, the river, or whatever it is, it's beautifully shot. And uh, uh, when you see them, you already feel very, very uh, refreshed, uh, you know, very, um, you know, some like a escape to the another world. And so, uh, in that sense, I think that particular movie succeeds. Uh, I think if you read the book, you know, maybe some people compare books and the movie, but those are two uh, different uh, things there. Of course, the movie, you cannot depict the more psychological aspects of, of the, uh, the people or struggling aspects of the people. You know, you cannot depict all of that. Uh, but uh, uh, movie, the good thing is about movie is that uh, you can see this spectacular scene of the competition and, uh, you know, that's going toward the uh, 1936 Berlin Olympics where Hitler was uh, watching. And so that particular uh, Olympics is, uh, um, uh, you know, the, I don't know, remembered uh, by this black uh, athletes, uh, uh, Jesse Owens, or something like that. And, uh, uh, and also uh, Zamborini, you know, yeah, there's uh, this particular uh, non-fiction book uh, based on this athletes. I think this is a uh, middle uh, distance runner who, um, who went to the Olympics uh, the same Olympic, 1936 Olympic, and also he participated in uh, uh, World War II. After that, then captured by the Japanese soldiers uh, when he was floating in the Pacific Ocean and uh, became a prisoner of war. And uh, that became another movie by uh, uh, Angel Angelina Jolie. Uh, directed this particular movie and uh, uh, that movie was also kind of a very very good so I made a video a while ago about those two uh, non-fiction uh, stories book one of them are boys in the boat and uh, the other one is that particular book and uh, so I kind of uh, uh, was surprised today it was like a regular uh, you know, Thursday, and the first showing is, is like a 12, uh, 20, uh, in, you know, in the, like a, a noon time. And it's, uh, the theater was packed. <laughs> so, yeah, it must be a very popular movie. Uh, it opened like a last weekend or something like that, uh, relatively new. And uh, uh, this season, this is one of the movies I wanted to see, and uh, the movies you know, like a, a couple of movies I wanted to see, like a Japanese, uh, Hayao Miyazaki's uh, film, uh, animation film, and also Godzilla Minus One film coming from Japan. I wanted to see that, but instead of seeing those two, I ended up with seeing this one. And I'm not sure uh, I had a chance, I will have a chance to see those two movies at the theater uh, this year. But uh, I hope I, I could see that too, because I kind of enjoyed experience of uh, seeing at uh, um, theaters. And also for my personal note, is that I have a friend who has been a friend for well, maybe 10 or 15 years now, uh, but uh, she has uh, uh, three sons, um, you know, the oldest son, uh, is the uh, uh, airplane, a jet, jet airliner, airplane pilot, and the middle son is a lawyer, and the youngest son is an uh, engineer. And uh, uh, so I got to know them uh, through her, and uh, um, you know, kind of a very, very, uh, uh, I don't know, attractive uh, family there. Uh, uh, so I uh, I took her to the movie and she really really enjoyed it and uh, 
uh, but uh, the bit the middle son especially is the uh, uh, one who uh, was also in the uh, eight crew uh, boat athletes in the 1980s he was chosen to be at the Pens uh, University of Pennsylvania uh, teams uh, senior teams or whatever and uh, um, supposed to go to the Olympics, but that particular year, Olymp U.S. canceled Olympic because of the, uh, that particular Olympic is, uh, uh, happened in Russia, and uh, they have some difficulty to participate because of the, those uh, wars and stuff going on there at that time. And so, um, U.S. canceled that particular Olympic, and uh, he was, he, he didn't go to that Olympic. That's why for her, uh, this particular uh, movie was very uh, in, uh, important and a very personal uh, movie as well. Uh, that's why uh, you know I took her the, uh, the, the movie theater. Uh, but anyway, so uh, that's my personal notes. But other than that, I think uh, George Clooney uh, uh, did very well in this particular film he directed and he took the uh, more like a fun aspect of this particular uh, story and uh, of course they, he uh, depicted the, the poverty and the struggle in the family relationship all these things and uh, uh, but I think mostly I think he succeeded in uh, showing this spectacular uh, game of this, you know, competition of the the boat, uh, eight crew boat, and I think that particular uh, competition is like a very um, kind of a prestigious uh, sports. I think most of the time, because uh, uh, the reason why University of Washington won that race is like they are coming from nowhere, you know, because all the uh, wealthy kids. Uh, going to the East Coast University, winning all these uh, national championships or something like that. And so only well-to-do can participate in the kind of a sport. But I think this is the first time this unknown um, team from uh, University of Washington. And uh, uh, also, they are not the senior member. This, this is the junior teams. Uh, although the senior teams is there, but uh, this coach uh, chosen this particular uh, junior team because the uh, junior team was uh, probably he thought is maybe much much uh, you know the uh, capacity of uh, winning this particular game. So that's what happened. So that's and uh, there's another thing is that my personal uh, alumni uh, is a University of Washington in uh, Seattle. And I went to the particular uh, boathouse area, uh, not knowing there was a, a history of this particular group. Uh, but uh, uh, they have like a, every year they have like a festival uh, at the particular uh, waterway area. And so I remember clearly visiting there, visiting the boathouse and uh, uh, so forth. So it's, that's also kind of a, uh, for me, uh, personally, but very kind of a close you know, to my heart, and so that's very worthwhile for me to to watch that particular game. For uh, people who who love the movie, who which is uplifting and uh, uh, you know feel good uh, type of thing that you want to get from the movie, I think I strongly recommend to see this movie. Uh, I think, uh, uh, you know, spoilers, but uh, uh, they win the Olympic, okay? The U.S. won the Olympic of 1936, and that's tremendous uh, uplifting uh, events uh, that took place during that uh, Nazi regime, Germany, Berlin Olympic, and uh, uh, so uh, I think this particular movie is, I think, uh, well constructed and also uh, uh, 
I would say, successfully made to the film, I would say. So please see that.